Having a page to share your social links like Facebook, Twitter, maybe a Facebook page, TikTok, YouTube channel, maybe somewhere for people to donate to you. Maybe you've got like a calendar appointment system for people to schedule to meet with you. Having somewhere to place all of that is super important. And you will know of many other websites out there that allow you to do that or platforms. This plugin, which you can get for free, which is Link in Bio Creator Social, allows you to add all of that to your WordPress website. Now, you might kind of go, well, why does it need to be on my website? Well, if you think about it, you could have a page with all of these links in one place that you can now share as a mobile page or even as a desktop page. The beauty about it is it is super, super versatile. It's a really intuitive plugin. Once you've installed it and you go over to social, you will now have a load of templates. And this is what I like about it. You can either build straight from scratch. And again, it is really simple and easy to do. Or you can use one of the templates. Now I will point out though, not all of these are three. If I click free, these are free, okay, plain and simple. But if I was to now go and click on this one over here, it's now gonna say you've got to upgrade because this is a paid template. So let's just understand exactly what the premium options are. When you click this link, it's gonna take you over to a page and the price is here, the annual price for the Essentials Pro and Performance are pretty damn attractive from a monthly point of view. And even if you pay monthly, that is still reasonably really, really good, I think. I am gonna focus on what you get here because this is the one that interests me in the performance. AI-powered design co-pilot. I like the sound of that. But let me first show you what you get for free and what you don't and why you might need to upgrade. Now, rather than build one completely from scratch, I'm actually gonna use one of these free templates just to show you how versatile it is. We're gonna click that and we're gonna go, yep, yeah, use the template. The first thing it allows you to do is say, well, do you wanna kind of build from scratch in a way, but using some of the color scheme, or do you wanna start with the default content? For simplicity, let's just go with the default content. The next step, go and change your picture. Now, if you don't change it here, don't worry, you can change it later on at any time. I'm gonna leave it here, but obviously, if you were doing this properly, I would have put in my profile picture. Next step, go and change your name, go and put a bit of a bio description. So I'm gonna go and change this to say, driven by passion for websites like that, uh, with a full stop. See how quick that was. Next step, this is where you now decide on the URL link. Now, this is really important. If I was to go and change this to be socials like that, that is now the link I need to be sharing and I might stick this in my LinkedIn profile, on my Twitter profile, on my TikTok profile, wherever you wanna share it. Whenever anyone clicks that, it will take them to the page where you can now see all of our links and everything we're gonna build. Let's now click create bio link and here's where the magic happens now. We can now start building our page. It's very, very basic. You have two options, you can even add a link or you can add uh, an exploratory item. And you might go, well, what are they? Let me, let me explain. The, we have an option over here called new album with a link. I'm just gonna get rid of that for a moment, okay? But that is a link. Add a live recording is also a link. You can tell because it has the word link there. Contact is an exploratory item, and I'll show you in a moment. And then get in touch, which also is an exploratory item. For simplicity, let's just get rid of that, okay? Let's leave the contact one and we'll leave the live recording. I'm gonna go over and I'm gonna change this to be Facebook group like that. And then over here, I'm just gonna cop I'm just gonna paste in a Facebook link. And now we have Facebook group. There is a microphone picture there. You can, if you want, change that to be an animation, like so it shakes or uh, flashes when you hover over it. You would need the premium version for that but you also have the option to change the image. So we have a microphone. I'm gonna go in and click replace and here's where I can pick. Now, please bear in mind that if I go and type in Facebook, you're not gonna get anything. If I go and type in FB, again, you're not gonna get any official social sharing icons, but you could pick something else. So if you wanna be a little bit imaginative, go and have a look at the icons you got there. And if I wanna add in another link, I can just click add link. I can pick it up, drop it below, above, wherever I want. And I can now go in and go Twitter uh, page or a YouTube channel, for instance, and you go and put your link in there. So it's really, really cool and easy to go and drop in your links. I'm just gonna get rid of that. Now, let me show you the exploratory one. 
This is where you can add in further items. So I've just shown you that you could use a link and link it to a YouTube channel, or you could literally do this as well, where you could now link to an actual video. I'm gonna call this Page Speed 2023. It's a video I've got, and I'm actually gonna pop the link in like that. And you'll notice now there's a little arrow appeared. So on the Facebook group, we don't actually have anything. And by the way, look, if I click that, it's gonna take me over to the Facebook group there. But what we now have here for the page speed is an icon because I click the YouTube exploratory item. You now put the arrow down like I just have. You can see the page speed video there. And the settings allow you to go a step further. So let's click on this. This is embedding. You could, if you want, link off to YouTube. So now when you click that, it takes you directly to the video. I think the embed option is really good. You might want to mute it. You know, I think that's a pretty good idea. I would also autoplay it. So as soon as it opens, it starts to autoplay. I'm going to go back to the explore option. You can see what we got. We got blog, maybe for bringing in RSS feeds, uh, document. You might want to put a PDF on there. And you also have header. The header is basically this option that we have here. It is literally just a header, okay? So let's go back over here. We also have WooCommerce, so you might want to embed a storefront. We have donation. Now, when you embed this, okay, uh, well, well, when you add it over, you would give it a title, maybe something like donate. We have an option here for donation. This is now where you pick PayPal. And then what you do is you put your PayPal address in. And after you've entered that, you now have the options. You can change your currency, which is really, really good. And you can also go and set your amount. So I'm going to change this to be $6, for instance. I could have changed it into British pounds. I'm just going to leave it as dollars for now. If you want to add another amount, you've got to go for the premium version. But again, the options are there for you. Let's just close that down. And I'm going to pick this up and move it to be, in fact, let's just rearrange it a little bit like that. Again, smooth and easy, dragging and dropping. In fact, I'm not really dropping, I'm just drag and sliding. And the other really cool e features are the contact form and the Calendly. Let's go and add the contact form. This again is, well, in fact, let's just pick it up. It's up there at the moment. Let's drag it down here. I'm going to change this to say, uh, contact me. We're going to click the option down here for contact form. And this is where I might say, well, I don't need your mobile number. We'll have your name, your email and your message. Uh, this is going to be send an email. In here is where you would then drop in the email address for where you want it to go. You can, if you want, add in a description. I'm just going to add in something fake like uh, talk to me, dot, dot, dot. Do you want to have a thank you message? Well, that's entirely up to you. Do you want to have terms and conditions? You would need premium for these bits, though. So what I'm going to do now is just close that down. And by the way, I am going to show you how all of this looks when you do get to view it actually as a page. And the other exploratory item that I really do want to show you is the Calendly one. So we've got the Calendly one, which is at the top at the moment. Let's drag it all the way down to be, uh, in fact, we'll put it above um, the contacts. I'm going to call this one and say book an appointment. Now in the link, this is where you paste your Calendly link. So if you've got a Calendly uh, set up somewhere, go over, copy the link from your Calendly page like I've just done, go back to social, go and paste this in here. If I just go and hit share for a moment and hit open in a new tab, if you had shared the URL, you know, the one with social, this is what you're gonna see. Well, we know the Facebook page takes you over to the Facebook group. We know we've got a video here that now auto plays and it's muted. You can unmute it at any time and you have an X button there. And here's what's great. Every time I open and close it, it, it starts again. It's not like if you watched half of it and then open it, it resumes. It does start again, which is pretty okay. You have the donate option. Look at that. You can go pay by PayPal. We also have the book an appointment. Oh, look at this. We can now start booking appointments. It's all built in for you. And you have the contact page as well. It's literally like a website within a website in a way, but on a page. So if you're quite clever, you could actually put other descriptions on here as well. You know, maybe this is your landing page. You do loads of social media. You use Instagram a lot but you've got loads of links. You don't want to set up another website, but you have got a domain or you have got a WordPress site. You could use this 
to now create your supersonic landing page that will lead people off elsewhere. Now, if we just go back over to the page, you do have an option here for settings. Again, you can change your image. You can change what you have up here. I'll just put two S's in there. You can change your bio, your, uh, your bio description. You are limited to 80 characters, but then again, you probably don't want to say too much. Now, you will need the premium option if you want to add in your social sharing icons. Um, but this is where you could do it. So you could either have like a page link or you could have like, you know, your Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, etc. Click it and it takes them over to that page. You can also straight away on the fly go and start to modify the look of it as well or keep it as it is. Now, if you want to do further refinement to the look of it, there are more options further below, like backgrounds, um, how the boxes look, the 3D effect, the text as well. However, you do need the premium option for that. So what you get is really, really good for free. You want to take it a step further. The premium options that I've told you already would come into it. But luckily for you, I do have the premium versions. Let me just jump back in and now show you that loads of those options now are available to me. So when I scroll down here now, I can now start to add in all of these items. So I am really simply just going to go hit Twitter like that. You would then go and pop in your URL. There you go. At the bottom, it has now appeared. And if we scroll further down, you now have the ability to start modifying the exact color. You could pop an image in the background. You have loads of facilities that are now open to you. Once the premium version is enabled, it says here, create your own or AI create. So I've typed in summer style theme with white buttons and I'm going to hit generate theme. I have no idea what this is going to give me. Is it going to even have? Okay, yeah, there you go. It's got a bit of a summary vibe then. If I hit accept theme, you can actually see it now. Now, the colors there for the fonts aren't really the brightest. So I'm, I'm definitely going to want to come down here and basically change the font color. Let's make it be a lot darker, something like that. And I might want to change the font and the styling of the header and the words there. But we've got a bit of a gradient going on then. It does have a bit of a summary, feel good, happy vibe to it. This is now your landing page page which could work wonders for you. And it's quick and easy to do. There's a free version and the premium version unlocks so much more. I'm Imran Web Squadron. I hope you like, subscribe, share and follow. I'll see you soon. Never break, always fight, never quit, do it right, play the game, win it life, have no shame, there's no time, feel the pain, let the grind, I could change, in my mind, pick a lane, commit and climb, the only way, to win it life, I never miss that fact, taking big swings, bitch, hand me the bat, put me in the ring.